What's up, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. My name is Jace Ace, and I am your mentor. And today, we're going to troubleshoot clicking and popping noises when importing audio into Pro Tools. I've received a lot of emails, text messages, and phone calls from my clients regarding this issue. They'll try to go import the audio, and when auditioning the track, they're hearing a lot of clicking and popping noises. So they move forward, and they just go ahead and import the track into the session. And when they import the track into the session, they still hear the clicking and popping and the audio sounds bad, like something's wrong with it. So what they say is, OK, no big deal. I'm just going to keep on recording. I'm going to finish out this session. And then maybe when I do the final bounce, I won't hear the clicking and popping. Wrong. You do the final bounce. You still hear the clicks and pops. It's stuck in the audio. I think this has something to do with downloading the audio file from the Internet, but I haven't been able to pinpoint it yet. On another note, I have been able to fix it every time a client has brought it to my attention. And today I'm gonna to show you how I fix that issue. So here we go. I'm in my downloads folder. This is a track that I just downloaded from my Google Drive. Omni Beats Mona. It's an MP3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this audio track for you now so you can hear how it sounds, all right? It's gonna sound crisp, clean, no clicks, no pops, nothing. Let's play it. All right, that sounded good, no issues at all. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to import that track into my Pro Tools session. All right, so before I import this track, let's go ahead and go to About Pro Tools. I'm using Pro Tools version 2021.12.0 on Mac OS. This is Big Sur, all right? All right, so now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and try to import the audio and see what we get. All right, here's the track. Now, before we play the track or import the audio, let's go ahead and audition it first. But before we do that, let's look at the file type. It's saying it's a quick time file. Bit depth is 32. Sample rate is 44.1. And we know that this is an MP3. So let's go ahead and play it. You hear that? That sounds awful, all those clicks and pops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and import it anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and play it again. Still hearing all those clicks and pops. So what I'm going to use to fix this issue is this audio format converter app. Go to the app store on your Mac and search for Music Converter Pro. I think they got a free trial where you could just try it out. I'm not sure exactly how much it costs right now, but this is the app that I use. So I'm going to open that app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file, which sounds perfectly fine when I play it from my computer before I try to import it into Pro Tools. I'm gonna take this file and drop it in here. I'm gonna choose the format type. We're gonna keep it as an MP3 for now. I'm gonna convert it. All right, the file's been converted. So now I'm gonna go back to Pro Tools. I'm gonna to go to File, Import, Audio. And instead of importing this one from the Downloads folder, we're gonna to go to the Desktop, and here is the new one. So now the audio file type is MP3 and the bit depth is showing 16 bits instead of 32 bits. The sample rate is still 44.1. So let's go ahead and take a listen and see if converting the file format fixed the issue. No more clicking noise. Let's go ahead and import this into the session. All right, so now we got both files in the session. Let's go ahead and play the original one first. Clicks and pops. Let's go ahead and play the new one. No 
no clicks, no pops. Now, when this first started happening to me, I tried so many different things. I tried uninstalling, reinstalling Pro Tools. I tried going back to a different, to an older version of Pro Tools. I tried changing different audio interfaces out. I tried so many different things. And until I converted the file, nothing would fix the issue. All right. So make sure you hit me up at my email address if you need one on one tech support. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you. You may not necessarily have to use this exact audio file converter. You could try other audio file converters. Um, let me know if you're having this issue on Windows. Also, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and check out my other videos.